Hey everybody, Felix Staffelbaker here. I wanted to make a video because I really see EOS and Bitcoin being the default swap on each other. If Bitcoin some reason fails or somehow doesn't work out, if you're holding EOS, you'll be able to benefit from all the EOS tech that is going into every database and that is going to facilitate all transactions, whether it's through a digital ESDR or any other type of digital currency that could be, whether it's your local currency or a global currency, would be facilitated on the back of EOS. And same thing with Bitcoin. Bitcoin wins and then everybody who has it will win big. It could be the backstop for the financial system and back up um, as a neutral currency all of the, uh, basically the cash aspects. So you'd hold Bitcoin like digital gold and you'd hold Bitcoin like, or hold EOS like digital cash. And if you're holding both of those, that's a huge double win, which I always thought would be the case, but they also can be uh, default insurances on each other because one of those two scenarios will play out, preferably both, and I just think that that's a very unique opportunity that no angle that people are looking at <clears throat> that people haven't taken into consideration that, hey, if for some odd reason Bitcoin ends up being banned and it ends up enough people listen to the ban to where they sell it and it goes down in price and then it ends up not being a thing, you'll still have EOS, which will have every database involved with it. Everybody will be using it to facilitate their own local and regional currencies and also every database. And then if that doesn't happen and Bitcoin wins and they still do all the stuff that EOS is supposed to do, you'll have a double whammy. So people aren't really taking, they're definitely not considering that or thinking about the in those kind of terms. And we've got working groups like the World Economic Forum saying that these things are coming. We've got the Fed in the United States now saying that CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, are coming. <clears throat> We're supposed to be launching in like June or July of 2023. And then, of course, China's already on a digital yuan. And then you've got the European Central Bank through... Uh, the Eurozone and everywhere implementing a digital currency. So all this is happening and people don't understand the implications but they also don't see the opportunity and I'm one of the few people I believe that can see the opportunity in both ways and basically you're going to win either way if you just hold Bitcoin and EOS. It doesn't really matter which way it goes. You're going to be sitting pretty. So I just want to put that out there, something to think about. Stuff will make it out.